Welcome to a, a simple tutorial called uh, build a box. We're going to build a box, a lid that has a part that fits inside the box, and a handle on it, okay? And I think we should just have a few bodies and we'll print this for you, okay? So, go to File, New Design. There are a few new tools on this, so you have to pay really close attention. I'm going to go a little faster than some of my tutorials. Click on the origins. We're going to go ahead and create a box and we're going to create it on the floor and we're going to make it five by five by five. Okay? Don't need my origin anymore so I'm going to turn it off. The next thing I'm going to do is shell. This is under the modify and under shell and it just it creates a hollow space inside a body. So we're going to click on it and it asks what body do you want. I'm going to click on body one right here and it asks how thick do you want the walls? We're going to type 3 mm for 3 millimeters because we want the walls to be 3 millimeters. And now we need to cut the top off to be the lid. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, in order to cut we need a plane. So we're going to use a construction plane. So this is a brand new tool. We're going to use offset. I know there's a bunch of tools here but we're just going to use offset. Click on that. Click on the top of the box and then we can push this plane anywhere in the plane up and down and we're going to go minus three millimeters that'll put it right below uh, where we have the the top okay now that we have a plane there you can see over in the browser we have the construction plane in the browser and we down here we have the construction plane in the timeline we also have the shell in the timeline that we can kind of change okay so now we need to split this body into two parts the box part and the lid part and that's another tool called Modify Split Body. And it does exactly that. What body do you want to split? Oh, we want to split this one right here. And then what splitting tool you're going to use, click on that. And then click on the construction plane we just created. It creates that red circle for cutting and bam. How do we know it's cut? Because now we have two bodies. We have the top and the bottom. Let's call this the box and we'll call this the the lid. Okay. And notice down here we have the split body tool in our timeline as well. So let's go ahead and click M for move. Let's click on the top and let's move this top uh, lid over and to see that it is indeed shelled. Go ahead and click OK. Now um, let's turn off that time uh, off that plane. Let's go ahead and add the handle and then we'll add the part on the bottom that's going to fit in. So you can decide what kind of um, handle. I'm just going to go with a, a cylinder. I'm going to put it in. The, I'm going to get in a little closer. Click it. I'm going to create a handle. I feel like that's good. This time I'm going to join it because I want it to be a part of the uh, lid. So now I've got the lid that includes the handle and we're going to flip it over. You can click on the bottom. So we're looking at the bottom of the lid. We're going to go create box. I'm going to click on the bottom and uh, we're just going to make uh, a lid but then we're going to type in some special uh, special uh, dimensions we want it to be 4.6 by 4.6 by 3 millimeter okay um, we kind of want to move it so I'm going to hold click on new body so just that's this dimension will fit. Uh, I know there's three millimeters that would maybe get 4.9, but we need to have a little bit less room. So I'm going to click OK. And then we need to click M for move, and we're going to click on that bottom, and we're going to push it so that it's centered. Just kind of centered in the middle, and click OK. Now, uh-oh, we have two. We have that part and the lid. We need to combine them. Okay, so there actually is a tool called Combined, Modify, Combined, and then it just asks what two things do you want to combine? We want to combine the lid, and we want to con combine this part right here, and we want to join them, click OK, and there you have the box and the lid. Uh, you can modify appearance if you want and go through the whole process. We've already done that in the robot and in the building, so I'm not going to go over it. So, but you should do that before so you can change the color. 
Um, but what I want you to do is go ahead and export uh, the files for printing. So let's click on the box this time. We're going to two finger click or control click. Brings up this menu. Save as mesh. Make sure it's on STL binary. Click OK. And make sure you put your name, Mr. McEwen, and box. Okay, so that we have your name on it and what it is. Then click on the lid body. Two finger click or control click. Whoops. Where are I going? Okay. And then two finger click and save as mesh. Make sure it's on STL binary. And then call this McEwen lid or your name and lid. And then make sure it's, you know where it's going. This is going to my desktop. So you can attach it to the assignment or to uh, an email. Okay. Thank you very much. Build your box.